Every Sunday I used to watch cartoons But now I'm here Waking up with you I would get excited About my favorite show Now you're the only thing I wanna watch And all I wanna know And take me to a movie A matinee Walk out in the middle Laughing all the way hey, hey, hey. Good morning Today is Wednesday And the past two days We have been snowed in and I am a little bit sick. You can kind of hear it in my voice still, but I'm mostly better, like no fever or anything. But today I was planning on going back into work like normal because today's the first day that it's going to be above freezing. But it like sleeted all yesterday afternoon. And so the roads are complete ice right now. So we're doing a delayed start today. So I don't have to come in until 11. So hopefully the road will have some more time to heat up and melt that ice but i have a couple extra hours this morning because i was pretty much already up and ready by the time they sent the text out that will be delayed so i thought i would film a little this morning and i have a few updates that are kind of fun i rearranged my room again i did that like six months ago every once in a while i just like to refresh and make it feel new but it's a good way to do it without spending money on buying new stuff to just move the stuff that you already have around and I really like this setup way better, and I always have, but I just wanted to change last time I moved it, and now I kind of was ready for another one, and I really like how it looks, so I'll show you a little room tour. So the headboard used to be up against this wall, and now it's over here, and I had the nightstand just next to it, and it kind of overlapped right there, and it just didn't look that good. But now the bed is in the center. Then I have my nightstand with my lamp, a candle, some books, and then inside, I have my jewelry organizer, remotes, a stress ball. Then I keep hair clips in here for when I wake up. And then I usually have lotion and another chapstick in here, but I ran out. But that's what my nightstand is. And then under here, I have just books and journals and all that kind of fun stuff. And then you already saw, but I hung my shell. Um, it's not a painting, but canvas I guess my shell canvas on this wall and I think it looks way better than it did it just kind of adds something to that wall that was blank it used to be above the tv but I kind of like this wall blank I think left the dresser where it is because there's really not a better place for it and then this little shelf has my hatch and just some decorations and I really like having this plant here because it is something that can be seen in the room because a lot of times if I close my blinds these ones are all hidden, but they all need to be on the windowsill or they don't get enough light. And this one kind of has the best of both worlds. So yeah, that is what I've done with my room so far. And then I have about an hour and a half left until I'll need to leave for work. So I think I'm going to go have some breakfast and then at some point I'll change. But I kind of like to put that off to last because I'd rather just be in my comfy clothes. Laughing all the way, eh, eh, eh. I am freezing, but it is time to pick out an outfit now. Well, I guess it's technically not time to, but because I'm freezing, I'm going to. And one little tip that I found is for some reason, picking out my outfit is always my least favorite part of my morning routine. And I think it's because I like to stay in my nice, cozy clothes. I don't really like being in uncomfy clothes, and most of my work clothes are. But... One thing that I have found has actually saved me time is to pick out every single piece that I'm going to be wearing and lay it out ahead of time instead of like picking one, putting it on, picking the next, like put it all on the bed and then change. So we're going to pick out an outfit and today's focus is warmth. We want a warm outfit because it's really cold. Let's see what we have. Usually one thing I do too when picking out my outfit is I'll pick one piece that I definitely want to wear and then style it around style the rest of the outfit around that I have a good variety of boots and jackets so usually those I can find something that'll go with anything so I usually just start with either a blazer or a top sometimes I have work dresses I'm 
going to put on my fanny pack. So this is the fit so far. I'm going to wait to put the gloves, scarf, and boots on until my ride gets here. And then I'll also throw on a pea coat over top. I just made it into work. It is just barely like 10 10 and we were scheduled to come in at 11 today but i got here early because my manager was giving me a ride because of the snow and then we just got a text from our boss saying that they moved it to noon so we're just kind of having free for all right now just kidding i am i have work to catch up on because i was out the last two days so it kind of works out good i am just gonna make myself a little coffee and I am all bundled. I got the Yeti out to keep my coffee hot. Okay, so I just got home and took off all my jackets, coats, belt, jewelry, shoes, all of that nonsense that is just, for some reason, once you, the second I get home, I'm like hyper aware of it, all of it, and I'm just like, I want it all off. So I am, I think I'm gonna have a chill night. It's almost nine, it's like 8.30 right now. And I'm going to shower, maybe make some dinner. We kind of had a late lunch, so I'm not super duper hungry, but I don't feel 100% great. So I might have like some bone broth or something. Um, but anyway, for the rest of the night, I'm just going to chill out. So I'm about to hop in the shower, but while I'm in here, I want to show you something I did in the bathroom. I had made a little mini version of the canvas in my bedroom, and I swapped out. We had a black shelf here, and I swapped it out for the wooden one just to give it a little more depth. And I think it's a little bit of a prettier texture. And then I added some fronds in a little pot. Poopery for the guests. And, you know, you sometimes you just, you know, you know. And then a little candle that matches the sea glass on the little canvas. And this smells so good too. This is our little stand here. We have our scale, a bath table, and our three-tiered organizer. Can't forget the aura lights. is a few days later and I just got off work and we had a little extra time today because we closed early so I was going to get little Valentine's baskets for my mom's sister and I so I figured I would use this time to go to the Dollar Tree and grab stuff for that and then tomorrow we're celebrating my dad's birthday which was yesterday and so I'm gonna pick up a card and then for his birthday instead of presents we are taking him to the Orca exhibit at the OMSI, which is really a gift for me because I was the one who asked to go. And he just said that if we buy his ticket, that would be his birthday present. And then we're also gonna take him out to lunch. And so I just wanted to pick him up a card. Okay, so we got back from the OMSI Museum where we saw the Orca exhibit and I got a little Orca sweatshirt that says Oregon Museum of Science and Industry. It just is giving that feeling when you get a new sweatshirt and it's so soft inside. So that is very fun and then for the rest of the day we went to Nordstrom and did some returns there and at World Market and then we had lunch at the Nordstrom Cafe. I also got my HelloFresh order in today, so I'm gonna go unpack that and then probably make one of the meals for dinner, or I still have a frozen pizza from Costco, so I may do that. So this week I got a vegan tofu and mushroom masala, 
with green beans and mashed potatoes, a sweet corn and green pepper chowder, and a creamy dill and pork filet with couscous and green beans. Good morning. Today is Thursday and I am actually on my way to get my hair done. It, I stopped to get a Dutch Bros. Yeah, but I'm going to my favorite hairstylist. She recently opened up a new salon in Salem called June Carter and her name is Morgan. She is absolutely incredible. Ever since I started going to her, I haven't gone to any other stylist at all and I've it's been a while since I've gone just because it is so far away but you can tell my hair is pretty dark up top but I'm just getting blonding and a cut in today and since she opened up her salon I thought that it was farther away but it's actually pretty close or not pretty close but it's closer than the salon she used to be at so I have a lot of extra buffer time and because my hair takes so long to do I think I'm gonna have to go straight from the salon to dancing and so I brought my duffel bag with my change of clothes and I don't think I'll have time to eat in between those two stops so I think I'm gonna stop and grab something to eat right now because my estimated time to get there is 2 30 and I don't need to be there till 3 so I am gonna stop and grab something and we're gonna take a little road trip and have some fun This is the hair and I am absolutely obsessed with it. It's kind of hard to see the exact tone in this lighting, but you kind of can. It is just very natural looking, but still bright and slightly warm and perfect. And then I got a couple of little face framing pieces. I can't really see too well, but I am so happy. And I went to Taya, so if you are in the Salem area, go to June Carter Salon and Suites and see, honestly, any of their hairdressers are amazing. Anyways, now I am going dancing. I am gonna change, running a tad bit behind, but very excited and happy.